dusting. Man, I really don't like dust and it's messy in here. What's happening? What? Well, hello! I'm the genie of the lamp and I'm here to grant you one wish. What? Just one? I thought it was supposed to be three. One wish only. Maybe a boat. Maybe a plane to fly around in. Maybe those rain boots you've always wanted. Oh man, what should I choose? Just one wish. Do I have to decide right now? Well, really, any time between the hours of 9 to 5, Monday through Friday is okay with me. Okay. Oh, man. What should I choose? A boat, a plane, rain boots, toys, endless ice cream? I don't know. But this totally reminds me of our story today, where God asked Solomon, what do you want? And he chose really wisely. So maybe I'll learn how to choose wisely, too, after we read our Bible story, play a game, make a craft, and do some worship. Which actually, we're gonna start worship right now. Everybody stand up to your feet and let's get ready to praise God now. You're real. 
Hey kids, welcome to today's Focus Up moment, where we take a little bit of time to change it up and focus on one part of God. And today we're gonna be worshiping God through song. And this song is called Have It All. And it's pretty much an offering song, telling God he can have every part of our world, of our life. Sometimes we, we wanna give God little parts. Here, you can have this part and have, have my heart when I go to church. But this song is declaring to God, you can have every part of my world, everything, my friendships, my uh, uh, sports, my homework, and my family. I give it all to you, Lord. So let's sing this out. The words are gonna be on the screen. job singing everybody i hope you were singing from your heart let's give our whole lives to god all right we'll see you next time for another focus up bye bye hey boys and girls welcome to our game today it's called the owl shuffle your job is to find which tree the owl is hiding behind so pay attention and be sharp so this is our friend little owl <laughs> say hi owl all right, now the owl's gonna go behind one of these three trees and we're gonna shuffle them up. So, let's get ready. And owl, go behind a tree. Whee! Okay, we're gonna shuffle them now. Okay, is it behind tree number one, number two, or number three? The answer is tree number three. <laughs> You're sharp. Let's go back behind the tree and we're gonna shuffle them up. Ready and go. Okay, which tree do you think the owl has hidden behind? We're gonna tell you in three, two, one. Tree number two. You got it right. That was fun, Miss Owl. Okay, go back behind the tree. We're gonna shuffle them up now. Okay, which tree do you think Miss Owl is behind? In three, two, one, it's tree number three again. Did you get that? Hey Miss Owl, go back behind the tree. We're gonna shuffle them up again. Here we go. All right, did you see which tree the owl hid behind? All right, we're gonna give you the answer in three, 
two, one. Tree number one. Tree number one. How many of you got that right? Make some noise if you got that right. Miss L, will you go back behind the tree? Let's shuffle them up now. Okay, that was a hard one. The owl is hidden behind tree number two, right in the middle. Did you get that? Great job, everybody. Okay, Miss Owl, I want you to mix the trees up really fast this time. This is the last one, so let's go now. Whoa, uh-oh, that's difficult. Okay, did you see where the owl was hiding behind? We're gonna give you the answer in three, two, one, behind tree number three. That's right, we brought it all the way back to the tree that we started with. All right, thanks for playing our game today. Miss Owl, you did a great job. Ooh. Thanks for playing our game. We'll see you next time. Say bye, Owl. Hi, I'm Pastor Mike, and today we're gonna be unboxing the Bible, which is kind of like unwrapping a gift that you're really excited about, but it's way better because it's God's word to us. So today's word is W-I-S-D-O-M, wisdom. Our word today comes from Proverbs 16, 16, which says, how much better to get wisdom than gold, to get insight rather than silver, Proverbs 16, 16. Now say it with me, Proverbs 16, 16. How much better to get wisdom than gold, to get insight rather than silver, Proverbs 16, 16. Well, thanks for unboxing the Bible with me today. Now get ready for an amazing Bible lesson. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hi, my friends. Welcome to today's Bible story. Okay, does anybody remember what king we have been talking about the last couple of weeks? Raise your hand if you remember. King David. That's right. Well, today we're going to see King David's son, Solomon, become the next king. And you know what he was known for? He was known for being very, very smart. Well, actually, the Bible uses the word wise. Can you guys say that word with me? Wise. All right. What do you think would make me wise? Do you think it would be these awesome glasses? How about this graduation hat? No, that wouldn't make me wise. Do you know what would make me wise? Do you know what made Solomon wise? God's word. The Lord makes us wise. In our Bible story today, Solomon was asleep. Can everybody pretend to be asleep? Maybe snoring. And God came to him in a dream. And God asked him, Solomon, what do you want? And Solomon did not ask for money or fame or really awesome, cool toys. He asked God for wisdom. We said the word wise before, now let's say wisdom. That's right. Solomon wanted God's wisdom because he was going to be king after his father David and he wanted to be a good king. And he knew that only God could help him to be a good king. And so he was really wise. That makes me think, how can me and you also become wise? It's not the glasses and it's not the graduation hat. Can anybody take a guess what would help us be wise? God's word. If we read and hear God's word, and we keep it hidden in our hearts, we will become full of God's truth. And then we will become wise. That is so cool. Do you know that the Bible describes Jesus as wisdom? So when we love Jesus, we follow his commands, and we follow his example, we become wise. Whoa, that's so cool. And remember, our memory verse says, it's better to get wisdom than silver or gold. Because guess what? Money, it can go away. Even our fame, like being really popular, having lots of friends, that could go away. Having a bunch of stuff, that can go away. We all know toys break sometimes, right? The only thing that lasts forever are things that we do for God's glory, our love for him and for the people around us. So I wanna read you one more 
Bible verse, and it's going to be in James chapter 1, verse 5. It says this, if you need wisdom, meaning if you don't know what to do or you want to be really smart and make good choices, ask our generous God. When the Bible describes God as generous, that means he is so willing to give and he will give it to you. So let me read that to you one more time because I want you to remember this. Stick it in your mind and in your heart. If you need wisdom, ask our generous God and he will give give it to you. Whoa, God will give us wisdom if we ask? Yes, he will give it to us. So we should always pray, thank the Lord and ask him for direction for our lives. And we should listen for God's leading and read his word to know what he says. All right, guys. Well, we're going to learn more about Solomon in the upcoming week, but I want you guys to remember he was a wise king because he sought the Lord and he put God first. And we can do the same in our lives. So why don't we pray together and ask God to give us wisdom. Let's put our hands together, let's close our eyes. Dear Lord, we are so thankful for you. We're thankful for the wisdom in your word and that you give us direction on how to live a good life. I pray, Lord, when we don't know what to do, that we would look to you because we can find all the answers in the Bible. So help us to live a godly life that honors you. And we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, let's pray for wisdom every day. Let's follow God's word and be a good example to those around us. I love you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey guys, I'm Jackie and welcome to Crafty Time. All right, today we were talking about wisdom and it made me think of a wise old owl. And I found this super cute craft online and made this. <gasps> Isn't it adorable? It's a door hanger. So you can hang it on your door and that way every time you open your bedroom door, you remember to be wise by following God's word. Pretty cool, huh? Well, this only takes a few easy ingredients, items, materials that you need that you probably already have around the house. Some paper plates, just plain white paper plate. I have some paint, but if you don't have paint, you can totally use crayons, colored pencils, or markers. Paint brushes, I have a pencil, a scissor, different color construction paper, ribbon, glue, or a hot glue gun, a stapler, and I have a cup of water. And I have paper towels, because if you're painting, it's messy and I want to stay clean. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take my cute little owl, and put them aside. And I'm gonna show you how we fold our paper plates. So these are kind of flimsy, cheap paper plates. That's the best kind. We're gonna fold one side to to the middle to make his little wing. Fold the other side to the middle. And just make a hard crease on that. Kind of takes a lot of strength. Make a crease. And then to make his cute little head, we're gonna fold part of this over just like that. All right, look at that, cool. So I'm gonna lay down some paper towels because I'm painting and I don't wanna make a mess. You're welcome, Mom. And I'm gonna grab one more paper plate for my paint. And I'm gonna use this lighter color tan for the belly of the owl. And I'm gonna open up the owl and I'm gonna paint this little square right inside. I love painting, how about you guys? It's so relaxing. Now make sure you don't have too much paint on your paintbrush or it's gonna be gloopy, gloppy, and you're gonna have to wait forever for it to dry. We just need a thin coat of paint. Ta-da! The owl's little belly is painted. So here comes the hard part. We're gonna set it aside and let it dry. But in the meantime, I have a couple of things we can do while it's drying. We're gonna cut out the little circles and the triangle for the owl's cute little face. So I have three different colors of construction paper, black and yellow for the eyes and orange for its little beak. But honestly, if you wanna do colors that are just wild and crazy, go for it. But first we're gonna cut out a larger circle of yellow. So what I'm gonna do is take the bottom of my paint bottle and trace it. I like to use things I have around, so. Great, now I'm going to trace smaller circles of the black. So I'm going to use a quarter. One, two 
determine it is. Now, on the orange, I'm gonna draw a little triangle. So I'm gonna use the edge of the construction paper as one of the edges of my triangle like this. And I'm also gonna draw a foot. Now, a foot kinda looks like this. I'm gonna cut out the foot and then retrace that again and cut that out. So I'm gonna do all of this and then we'll keep moving on. Okay, now that's done, I'm gonna set it aside and we're gonna do a little more painting. This has dried, so we're going to paint the head and the wings. But first we're gonna staple it closed like this. Just like that. So now I'm gonna put some darker brown paint and now I'm gonna paint the head and the wings. Just like this. Now I'm gonna set this aside to dry for just a moment. My little owl friend is dry. Now he needs a face and a feet. A feet, a foot, two feet. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna take our cute little feet and you can either use a hot glue gun or a just regular glue is fine. And we're gonna glue the feet to the back of the owl just like this. I'm gonna take it right there. Dot of glue. Goodness, how cute its little feet. Okay, now let's give them eyes. So we're gonna put a dot of glue in the center of each yellow and then put the black over the dot. Like this. Do I look good? <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna take our triangle and we're gonna glue it right where that staple was. So we got a triangle and then an owl's eyes are close to its nose, I think. So we're gonna do one eye, two eyes. Look how cute it is! Okay, the last thing we need to do is put the ribbon on it so that it could be a door hanger. So I'm gonna take ribbon. I chose gold because it reminded me that wisdom is better than gold and also I just kind of like the way gold looks. <laughs> so you're gonna take a small amount, cut it, and then we're gonna turn our cute little owl friend over and you're gonna glue the ribbon to the back. One dot of glue, one more dot of glue. Let your glue dry and then it's all done. And you have a super cute little owl hanger that you can put on your door and remember to be wise by following God's word and by doing what he says is good. And we will be full of wisdom like this wise old owl. Okay guys, well I hope you had fun making this craft. I wanna see your owl creations. Make sure to post a picture on Instagram and tag us at Harvest Kids Live. All right guys, I'll see you next time. Bye. Well, Jackie, have you had time to decide what you're going to wish for? I have. I've decided. I want to be smart and wise. So my wish is to be smart and wise, just like Solomon. Hmm. It seems I don't have the power to grant you the wisdom that you are asking for. But maybe... I know someone who can. This should help you out. Whoa, hey, look, a Bible. That's right, all wisdom can be found in God's word. Thanks, Jeannie, who came out of this weird modern looking lamp. Well, speaking of my lamp, I would like to go back to it. So if there's nothing else you need, I'll go back to sleep now. Bye, Jeannie. Bye. Whoa, guys, that was an interesting experience. But all wisdom is found in God's word. And that is a great thing for us to wish for. And remember, the Bible says that God gives wisdom to all who ask. So let's be asking him for some wisdom. And hey, if you want to keep watching our awesome Sunday service, you can tune in on YouTube at Harvest Kids Live. Make sure you subscribe so you get a notification every time we post something new. And you can also follow us on Instagram at Harvest Kids Live. We love you guys so much and we want you to grow in the wisdom of God's word. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.